92 was when we started, the year I got married. In fact, I came back from my honeymoon and uh, got home and I left my wife standing at the door and <laughs> came over here. It was the first day of deer season. She wasn't too happy. <laughs> my father-in-law was a meat cutter for 35 years with Hannaford Shop and Save. He taught me from step one right up through. Uh, the gentleman we bought the business from, he came over, showed me how to skin the deer. I helped cut. Ed's the main meat cutter. My boy does the wrapping over there, so it's a family business. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I found it you know, kind of fascinating when I was younger to you know, watch the deer get processed and make some, <laughs> make some money while I'm at it. Once you take out the bones, the hide, the head, typically you're going to lose probably anywhere from 60 to 75 percent of that deer. And then you got to take into consideration where it was shot. Plus, if they let it hang too long, there could be some meat that gets spoiled. So you got to cut that meat off also. If you don't have a place to keep it in probably the 40 to 45 degree range, uh, I would recommend getting it to the butcher as soon as possible. The other thing is if it is cold out and you leave it hanging and it freezes, we can't do anything once that deer is frozen.